This video is sponsored by Guapkey. If you're looking for a reliable modded GTA account for PS4, Xbox One, or PC, then this is the place to go. The link is in the description below. Guapkey have very kindly provided me with a modded GTA account for Xbox One to give away to one of my subscribers. The account is rank 126 and it has 120.6 million dollars on it. All you need to do to enter the giveaway is like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, and then send me a screenshot on Instagram showing that you've liked this video and subscribed and you'll be entered. A winner will be picked at random on Tuesday the 1st of June. Good luck everyone and enjoy the video. Shut the fuck up. Oh fuck you. Shut up. Oh fuck you. Shut your underdevelopment oh, stupid little you. mouth. Shut your mouth. Oh, <laughs> Shut up. Why is this good Shut your mouth. Did you chuck it off? Did you chuck it? Oscar, I Shut your mouth, mate. No. I can I'm too wet. Shut up. Stop shouting, you little dick. Stop shouting, you little wiener. Mate. What's wrong with you? Come on, you dickhead. There we go. No. 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 Ah! These two look like griefers, right? It looks like they just bullied this person into passive mode. Ah, level 30. I saw on the kill feed that the two dark pink ones were killing that physics guy. And he's only level 30. And they're both level 237 and 344. So. And this sub here is just text me and said that, that the red ones are griefing. So. I think we might have to go and pay them a visit. Let's see what these two little kiddies have to say for themselves. Jumps off there, there. Off he jumps. This scramjet's gonna twop my kill there, there. Right, now I need to get over there. I don't know why it felt the need to spawn me this side of the water. Yeah, nice explosive rounds. Now they were added to the game for noobs. Can't snipe, no worries. Here's some exploding bullets for you. Literally added to the game out of pity for noobs who can't snipe. That's why kids there, they're using it. Ah, uh, is he put ghost on? He's, one of them's went. Yeah, he's there. Yeah, BST and uh, marksman. Pick the BST up! I was standing on it! Mate, this kid's actual fucking getting on my titties now. Just uses marksman is all he does. I can't even get my BST. He's got a ghost on there because he's an idiot. Just sat using thermal. They're mongs, mate. If I could actually get my spastic little BST, it would help. Thermal BST and marksman. They're really worthless, useless idiots, aren't they? The uh, how, how's he got me through the fence? This is ridiculous. I'm just getting like absolute grief, and there's nothing I can do about it. Open. Right, that. Scramjet seems to be distracting them somewhat. Can I just... Just long enough to get my shitty little BST, that's all I ask. Can only use marksmen. Yeah, blows himself up. Ewo, 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 go on, there you go. Yeah, Ewo. It would be helpful if we could get to the same side of the beach as them. That would be great. Ah, he's teleported away. Grief and scummy. He'll have gone in his little stupid little bandito. Got him in his RC tank. Oh, pick the BST up. Yeah, fuck off. The mark of defeat. I can't do shit, so I'm going to sit on my RC tank and cry. RC tank using little bitch. What a weak little bastard he is. Yeah, look at them voting to kick me. Where's the silly little tank? 
Where is that stupid little bastard hiding? Eh, uh, he's just there hiding away. Little bitch. Idiot, mate. Walked into that one. You should be more careful next time, my guy. Off you, off you pop. Get a little happy meal, off you go. Go on, off you trot. Off you trot back to your bed now. Fuck off. Where's that stupid little other kid went, the purple one? He's just giving up, because he knows I'll oh, clap him if he fights me a few more minutes longer. Where's he went then? Is he even on? Oh, one of them's teleported facility. Don't know where the other ones though went. I think the purple one is still probably on his RC tank. He will be, he'll have just ran away on it hiding somewhere. Okay, chill, he's my mate lol. Calm down, mate. One sticky bomb's not gonna do anything to you. Jesus, I'm trying to run me over because I put one sticky bomb on him. Now, that's obviously not me trying to kill you, is it? How would that kill you? Player BS, mate. I'm using BS too because I feel like he'll, the brain kid there will start killing me in a minute. Okay. Go out of my way. Oh, there's purple buddy. Fuck you, lad! Yeah, purple kid just appeared there on the map. Again. Yeah, he's using BST. Is he gonna be trying to kill me? No, purple. Ah, he's be. I forgot he will have just went ghost. No, I saw him on the map, but then he disappeared. I thought he'd went back on his tank. He's obviously just put ghost on again, because he's a bitch. I reckon that purple kid was literally just hiding on his RC tank until his ghost organization cooldown finished. Yeah, he's there teleported. Where is everyone? Oh, will you move out of my way? Yeah, there's him there trying to kill me. Why? Why? Because I killed you because you ran me over. Because you're telling me to chill because I'm killing you, mate, even though he fucking attacked me first, you imbecile. What a mongless kid is. One shots me as well because it's McDonald's ass internet. Yeah, here's the one of them there. Fake KD Puxy. What's a fucking fake KD Puxy? I've never heard of that one before. Fake KD. How's my KD fake? 3.2 or whatever the hell mine is. It's hardly that high. He probably just got his KD from just doing this kind of bollocks. Every time he's fighting someone who's evidently half good, sit hiding on that. Classic little stupid little kid. If he would actually fight for about two seconds, I'd have fucked him up most probably. But he doesn't do that. He just sits there, there leaves. Not leaves, goes on his ta RC tank and just hides on that. And then when he's not on that and he's on foot, he's, he's there, puts ghost on. The minute his ghost ends, straight back on the RC tank. He sits on there for 10 minutes or whatever until the cooldown will have ended. And then fucking immediately on that shit. He's teleported away to his facility. And he's in an Avenger now. People do that a lot because the Avenger takes tons of explosions to blow it up. So the minute you're in a jet or in a press or anything, you start locking onto them. You know, they can take a good, like, I don't know, six or seven explosions or whatever until it'll actually blow up and then that gives him plenty of time to just teleport back to the facility again he'll do that watch him do that literally just watch as he does that sorry that why is why are they killing each other then that warren hughes kid i thought that was that lyric kid's friend so why is he killed him then the lover's tiff or what fake kd let's see what his shit kd is gg fuck off gg 8.47 and he calls my fucking KD fake. His KD is literally just, he literally only got it from griefing noobs who can't fight back, such as that level 30 there fucking, that they were killing. And then the minute anyone who's evidently half decent comes along, he just does this shit. When he's fighting on ground, he's got ghost on. The minute his ghost ends, sits in his RC tank for better part of 10 minutes. Teleports to his facility is another option. 
and does this, gets his Avenger. He's a real idiot. The minute I were to start locking onto him, he'll teleport right back to his facility. He'll be able to do that way before I would get enough explosions on him, you know, to get him. Shop Lester, you're the only one creepy here. You imbecile like fucking twat. Look, here's Lyric Kine. I'll never be able to take off in my jet. What am I on about? Although he said GG, so I presume he's friendly now. I mean, watch him just kill me anyway. This is a right shit show. People like that with the really fucking high KDs, uh, you can't even fight them. Like I said, if he would actually 1v1 me or fight me at the beach, like sniping and stuff, even if he's still just using his BST and marksman bollocks, if he would actually like fight, I'd almost definitely clap him. He's horse shit. But um, yeah, they just value their KD way too fucking much. To the point where it's basically all they care about and their whole fucking what they're focused on the whole fight. People like that, they basically play in such a way as you really can't even kill them. You know, they'll teleport away long before you even get the chance to like physically be able to kill them anyway. It's got no bearing on like how good you are. Like no matter how good you are, you can't kill someone faster than the game physically lets you, you know? And with kids like this, they just sit on their bandito or teleport away long before you get the chance to even be able to really kill them. It's fucking stupid, mate. Ah, uh, there's this stupid twat little Avenger. He'll be there at max height. Yeah, he'll be there at max height so that then so that he can sit on the cannons and just shit down and you basically have to approach him from below. It's like the only physically possible way to even do it, really, because you can't approach from above if he's at max height. Well, that's by design, that's the fucking point. Ah, oh, I could have got him then if I shot a bit earlier. Ah, oh, he's trying to lure me towards him, nah. Yeah, he'll be sat at their max height, yeah. I've seen people do that before. Yeah, see, he's at max height, just sat on the cannons, and there's like, fuck all I can do, I can't approach him from above. I can't attack from above, can I? I can't physically do that. He can shit like just 360, that's by the, that's the pine. Yeah. Suppose he did blow me up, didn't he? He's a real idiot. He's such a pussy, mate. He can't do anything at all. It's just to the point where like the game doesn't even let you kill them. You can. How are you gonna kill someone who's doing that? Like, you, you literally, basically can, unless they go AFK while they're sat there. Literally. Like, how are you meant to kill them? You can shoot, like, completely 360. They should limit it where you can only shoot in a specific sort of direction. Like, either directly behind or directly to the side or whatever, but only one direction at a time. The fact he can literally just shoot any direction. He's got a whole peripheral, you know, sight on me. He can see me wherever I am. He can see total 360, anything below him to the sides, anything. So, like, how are you meant to kill him? You get anywhere near him, he'll shoot you down with that thing. It's only one bullet is all it really takes, you know? They're gonna obviously get you way before you fucking get close to being able to kill them. You can't bomb them from above because they're at max height. It's ludicrous. It's such a pussy way to play. How can you be this big a pussy? I don't get it. I'm seeing an increasing amount of players who literally just play like that. Like, that's all they do. Like, it's becoming right common where people just literally only really do the shit like this. They don't really do anything. He was fighting briefly at the start, very briefly, for like fucking two minutes. But he was just using BST and Marksman, so that's hardly even fighting. All the methods to kill someone that require no skill and no amount of like balls, you know? Like that, where you can just sit there totally safe and you've got all the advantage. That's literally all he does. So like the RC tank, you, you cannot kill him when he's in that. So yeah, he's up on me, 8 or 2 or whatever. But like, how is it meant to be any fucking different? Like yeah, he's killed me more times because I actually play in a way that allows him to actually have the chance to. If I was to just constantly sit on my RC tank and teleport away and go ghost every time it fucking lets you, then yeah, sure, he would have fucking probably barely even killed me once either. Like, it's not a case. Okay, so the way he's going on saying 7-2 or 8-2, as if that means he's, like, better than me or beating me. 
so fucking weird. I can stay here all day, troglodyte. Yeah, I, n I don't doubt his- I never once doubted his lack of a life. You don't need to reassure me of that. I'm- I'm fucking well aware of how little of a life this kid has. I can stay here all day, like, fuck's sake. Does he really think- does he really feel the need to- to fucking state the obvious to that extent? Obviously he can stay here all day. What the fuck else is he gonna do? It's like he's got all this stuff to be doing with his life. But yeah, so where the score is like 8-2 to him, so then he's there thinks he's like 1. Like, no, not at all. It's just totally different. It's not like that was an actual fight. If we were actually proper fighting that for all of that, then yeah, fair enough. Well, 7-2, so what? What does that mean he's better than me? This KD's higher, so that means he's better. No. Anyone can go kill in level 30s and then just hide in any time anyone half decent comes along. Anyone can do that, and yeah, obviously you'll get a high KD. Obviously you'll get a fucking high KD from doing that. Doesn't mean you're good. You're so stupid. Like, literally, the only reason I've only killed him twice is because how are you meant to? How am I meant to kill him when he's on his RC tank? Even if I was to hit his tank with all fucking, like, six explosions that it needed to blow it up, it doesn't even give you the kill, I'm pretty sure. I think it, it's when they first added it, it didn't give you the kill. And then they changed it so when you blew someone's bandito or tank up, it gave you the kill and said you, and said you killed them. But I'm pretty sure they've, like, removed it again. So when you blow someone's bandito or tank up, it doesn't do anything. It literally will just spawn them a couple blocks away. This isn't gonna end very well, is it? Oh, Jesus. But yes, yeah, so even if I was to be able to hit his tank with the five or six fucking explosions needed to, to blow it up, it wouldn't even give me the kill anyway. It wouldn't even say that I'd kill them. It would just spawn him away and then he'll put ghost on. How am I meant to kill him when I've fucking no idea where he is? He's on BST all the time, so even if I was to find him, I snipe him, he'd immediately blow himself up, teleports to his facility, obviously I can't kill him while he's in his facility or the other side of the map from me. This is Avenger, goes up to max height, where as I already explained, it's essentially impossible to kill him, and it's a pretty fucking easy kill for him, he just sits spamming that cannon, and all it takes is one explosion, I'm pretty sure, one shot on you and it'll blow a jet up. So he's, you know, he's got a big advantage there and it's like basically impossible for me to kill him. Because like I said, you can only approach him from the side or below and he can aim all of the, in all of those directions. He can, he can aim any side or below or anywhere he fucking wants he can aim and easily get you before you get anywhere near him. So like, when he's playing like that, how are you meant to physically fucking kill him? That's just so ludicrous. Like, him playing like that, it's like inevitable. How am I meant to be up on him or whatever? If like, he's doing things where it makes it literally impossible to kill him, and no matter how good you are, you know, you can't do something the game just physically won't let you do. You can't kill someone who's, who's in the facility or any of this shit. So what do you want me to do? Like, he's there telling me that he's up on me, telling me the score. Like, yeah, what? How is it meant to be any fucking different? <laughs> like I said, if I was to play like that, and if he was just sticking to actual fighting kind of rules, you know, not teleporting away and shit. If he was sticking to that and I was playing like that, it would be the same fucking score in reverse, probably. Probably even higher. I don't know how he didn't kill me when he was there in his, in his, uh, Avenger. He missed, like, fucking 200 shots on me. He's an idiot. What a real mom. Protecting his stupid little KD, that's his life. See that KD? That is his life there, right? That is literally his life's work. He pr protects it with his life. It's like literally the only thing that fucking matters to him, you can tell. Holy shit, mate. How didn't that kill me straight away? I just fucking headbutted the building and it didn't kill me, and then it killed me, like, delayed. Oh, it's been destroyed, has it? I, I wouldn't have thought so. He calls me a troglodyte as well, what does that mean? A hermit. Especially in prehistoric times, a person who lived in a cave. How do I live in a cave? That, is that what he means? That doesn't really make any sense. Or another definition of it is, a person who is regarded as being deliberately ignorant or old-fashioned. I, I don't know how I'm doing that. Either of that. Whoa, you're an idiot. You're a real idiot. You doing? 
Pull's a fucking U-turn though, fuck off. He's the only hermit here fucking sat in his room 24-7 playing GTA, killing level 30s and crying, crying and hiding when anyone above level fucking 40 comes at him. Idiot. Sits in his apartment for like god knows how long, like. I wonder if I was to actually just stay in this lobby all night, it's fucking, what time is it now? 10 to 11 then, uh, if I was to just stay in this lobby all night, I wonder how long he would just be sat in his apartment for? I'd probably still be here at 4am, he'd still be there sat there. Like, I don't get, I really don't understand. It's like there's a kind of ego thing sort of fused into it as well. Like a kind of pride thing or some level of, you know, dignity or something in it, I don't know. It's not just that like, he specifically just only gives a fuck about his KD. Yeah, it's like a kind of dignity or ego shit as well, kind of mixed in it. So he's sat in his apartment because he doesn't want to fight me because he knows I'll drop him and he'll fucking... And slightly lose a bit of KD and and you know have that dent in his precious ego from getting fucked up. So like he's hiding in there, so that doesn't happen. But then that's the thing, like he could literally just find a new session and then problem solved. Like he's that scared of the inevitable ass clapping that he'd receive if he was to fight me. He's that scared of it that he's literally just now refusing to fight me. But then, so then if he's not gonna fight me, why doesn't he just leave the session so he can do other stuff or get back to his grief and nibs and shit? I oh, know, because he can't bring himself to leave, because then he thinks he'll look like a tit if he leaves. It'll look like he's rage quit or it'll look like he's just running away like like a little bitch or something like that. But like, he looks like more of a bitch sat in his apartment like that. Sorry, mate. Out of the way, bro. Don't know where the little pink idiot's gone. Uh, purple. He's just totally giving up. He would look like 20 times less of a bitch if he were to just leave the session. You're a real moron. How did the Jesus did he not kill me then? Like, what? Could you have asked for an easier kill? Yeah, it runs away crying. Look at him just hiding, mate. Come on. Just get a, look, get a grip. Why is everyone just having mental breakdowns fucking that scared? There's gonna be a generation of people with like PTSD from this fucking game. Like why are people just so petrified of the concept of having their fucking ego or KD dented in the slightest? Yeah, you're just such an idiot! That's the only way you can get a kill. You can't- he knows he can't fight for shit. Yeah, and then he runs away in that. Pleb. Oh, uh, yeah. Someone's fucking triggered. Look at him. Why are you attacking us for no reason? I see you're just another low IQ G2 below. Carry on, lord face. What does that mean? My hairline needs work. What does that- f what's that even meant to mean? I'm fucking 20 years of age. Man, I'm not gonna have a receding hairline this early, am I? I mean, some people do. Your hairline, does, generally speaking, does not start receding at 20. Apart from in some cases, some people, I, I don't know, I've heard of some people that write bad hairlines when they're like 19, but that's a small amount of cases. My hairline literally hasn't even began to recede yet, so I don't know what he's on about, he's clearly just triggered. Lovey well, wouldn't join the party as well. Sat there messaging me. That's that's when you know you've right got under someone's skin. Your hairline needs some work, by the way. Like, come on. The level of saltiness in that is ridiculous. Attacking us for no reason, he says, fucking 30 seconds after just getting done 2v1 grief in a level 30. Hypocritical mong. He's a real idiot. He won't join the party as well, he's that big a little bitch. I mean, he's obviously not got any balls sat there fucking crying in his apartment. And he hasn't got any balls to go outside and do anything in real life, so just resorts to fucking wasting away on a game. Fucking 24-7. Literally just openly admits that he has no life as well, man, when he said, I can stay here all day. All that says is literally just, I don't have anything better to be doing than just sat in my apartment on a game. Right, well he's gonna be there killing me then. Says I have a low IQ as well and he's like, so fucking stupidly hypocritical. Like, he's too stupid to even realise the level of hypocrisy in what he said. Why are you attacking us for no reason? 
after just getting done 2v1 griefing some noob. Low IQ, fuck's sake. I don't know what's that, what that's even going off as well. How do I have a low IQ? What have I done that suggests that? Right, well, this is like dead now. This has just gone totally stale. I'm just killing this fan who's not even a fan. I don't get how you can be a fan while also be the killing me and shit. Doesn't make too, too much sense. But these two other kids are just there and obviously they're not coming out any fucking time soon. They're obviously, like he said, he can do this all fucking day. Oh, never mind, I spoke too soon, there's one of them now. But this red kid isn't playing half as much like a piss as the purple one though, so I'm not really that fussed about him, but he is, yeah. He's dog shit. Yeah, and he just goes straight back in. Uh, yeah, no, this would be one, it's just another one of those things where you know for a fact that if I was to just continue just staying in this area and... Nice lag, how's he on full health? But, like, yeah, if I was to just continue staying in this game and just stay in this lobby all fucking night, it would just be this, the last, like, five, ten minutes of footage or whatever. It would literally just be that for three hours straight, just me sat outside this apartment building, fighting this sub, another one of these bipolar subs who can't make their mind up. And then these two just sat in their apartment having intercourse. It would literally be that all night long if I was to stay here. Obviously, he can't bring himself to leave because he would, he probably sees that as an admission of defeat. But literally sat in your apartment crying, telling someone they have a shit hairline just because you know they would beat you at a game. You just can't handle that fact. That isn't really that much better than just leaving. Because leaving pretty much demonstrates that you have other stuff to do, that you've got somewhat of a life. Literally just openly admitting that he's got all the time in the world to just sit in a lobby, sat in his apartment. I don't know what he's even achieving by doing that. But, ah, uh, I've got, I've got kick there, that'll be. I mean, they were voting to kick me ages ago. What a bunch of absolute idiots. So that's the thing, I find there's like two reasons why people get mad at you on this game. Right, it's either because you're killing them and they're getting mad about that, or it's because they're like, they know for a fact that you're better than them, they just fucking in denial about it and it's making them all triggered because they know you're better than them, but they don't want to accept that and they don't want to fight you and let you clap them. It's obviously just another one of those players who all they can do is just prey on the weak. So mind when I was, when I couldn't get to my BST and I was essentially just getting like spawn trapped by Marksman and BST, you know, like then he was fine fighting on the ground then he wasn't teleporting to his facility then because he, he probably knew that I was, you know, because I was literally just running like to the side. I wasn't fighting, whereas if my BST was fine and working, I'd, I'd be fighting because I, I was obviously running to it. So he knew obviously that I was either trying to just run away and didn't want to fight him or I was trying to get my BST. So, you know, obviously I was weak then, so, because I couldn't get my BST, I'm not going to fight him without it. Because so they're killing me a bunch of times then. Then the minute I get to my BST and start kind of killing him and shit, I killed him a couple times, he just teleports away and starts that. So I killed him like twice within about a minute. So he basically knew that if he kept at that, I would beat him. What an absolute idiot. What an absolute pussy. Like the whole Avenger thing, hiding up at max height, hiding in his apartment, hiding on his tank, hiding in ghost organisation, and then fucking just votes to kick me. Like, how big of a pussy can you actually be? How badly can you fucking want to keep your KD the same or higher? Oh, oh, Christ.